Hey everyone, this is Brian Lagunas, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to implement some multi-threading and report the progress of that long-running process to your end users using the new XAM Busy Indicator control just released with the InfraGistics 15.2 WPF controls. So what we have here is an application that has one view and a view model. This view is very simple. It contains a list box that is bound to a collection of items, and then we have a button that will kick off the process of creating those items. We are using the Prism's view model locator to set the data context of the view model. So let's take a look at the view model. As you can see, we have a property, a list of string that will represent the items we're creating. We have our command called start process command that is bound to the button in our UI. And when this button is clicked, the command will be invoked and we will generate 10 million items to be added to this list of uh, strings in which our list box is bound to. So if we run the application as it is. Okay, so if we run the application as it is, we can see that we have our list box here. There's nothing going on. And I'm gonna click the start process button. I can see immediately our UI is frozen. I can't move anything around. I don't know what's going on as an end user. It's, it's just stuck. When the process is complete, the UI becomes responsive again, and now I can see the items we've created. This is not what we want. So what we're gonna do is first, we're going to create a multi-threaded environment. So we're going to take what we currently have and make it multi-threaded. And we're gonna use this using the new async await features in .NET. So first, let's go ahead and convert this generate items method into an asynchronous method. I'm gonna do that by creating a new task. I'm just gonna wrap what we already have in a task. And then we have to return a task. So we're gonna say return task.run. And then we're gonna wrap our current logic inside of that task.run. The next thing we're gonna do is come up to the start process method, add the async, and then add await just before our generate items. Now let's run this application again. Let's see what happens when I click the start process button. As you can see, the UI remains responsive. I don't know exactly what's going on because I clicked the button. Uh, I don't know if so. Oh, something is happening. Apparently something was going on in the background. This is because we took the, that long running process and stuck it on a separate thread so our UI remained responsive. So the next step is to let our end user know that, hey, something is happening. There is a process going on. So don't click everywhere. Uh, be patient and then you'll see uh, the results of that process. To do that, we're going to modify our UI to utilize the new XAM Busy Indicator control that just released with the InfraGistics 15.2 uh, WPF controls. So I'm going to my toolbox. I'm gonna to find the XAM Busy Indicator. I'm just gonna drag it into my view. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually wrap our current view with the XAM Busy Indicator. Now, in order to get the XAM busy indicator to show, we have to bind the is busy property to a property in our view model. We'll assume this is called is busy. That means we have to go to our view model and we have to add a new property. It's going to be a Boolean called is busy. Next, we're going to set is busy to true before we start our process and then set it to false when the process has completed. Let's run the application. So now I'm going to start the process. And now we can see something is going on. There was a process going on in the background. My UI remains responsive, but as an end user, I know that something is happening, and now that the busy indicator has disappeared, our results are displayed to us. 
So let's say I'm not happy with that animation. Well, the busy indicator actually has a number of animations to choose from. Actually ships with eight. We have Azure, Gears, Progress Bar, Progress Ring. Uh, let's just stick with the Azure. Let's go Azure. So now we have the Azure animation. I'm just going to run the app. Now I'm going to start the process again. And now we have a new animation. And you can see that the Start Process button has been grayed out because the Busy Indicator is covering all the interaction points so that our end users are not confused. What's really cool is we can modify that Azure animation to say, you know what, I want the top element to be green, or the lower elements to be green, and we'll make the top ones red. So we're changing the colors of the animation. And as you can see, those colors are reflected when the animation is shown. Well, now that we have the ability to show the busy indicator and play with the animations and change color of the animation, let's go back and report the progress. Because currently what we have is called an indeterminate animation. The animation keeps spinning and spinning and spinning. We have no idea when it's going to finish. We just know something's occurring. But let's say that we, we, know how many, uh, we know how far we are into the process. We have a number of records and we know how many records have been created. So I want to report the progress of where we're at to the end user. So first, let's start by reporting progress from our asynchronous operation. So let's start by creating a new I progress of T, which will be a double. We'll make it a new progress. And then in this update progress here, we're going to pass the percentage in order to update the UI. That means we need a new property. This is going to be a double. And then in here, we will set progress equals to the percentage. Now calculating this percentage is even easier. I'm basically going to say if I mod, let's say 1500 equals zero, we're going to divide I by the maximum of our records to get the percentage of complete. And then we're going to take our progress and report that percentage. Now the reason we do this is because we don't want to flood our UI with update messages. So we just want to update every now and then. The next step is to update our UI. First, Let's go ahead and change our animation. We need an animation that shows progress. So let's go to progress ring. Now we want to set the property is indeterminate equal to false because now we have a determinate state that we want to manage. Then we take the progress value and we create a binding to the progress property that we're updating in the view model. Let's run the application. Start the process. And now that we can see, the UI is updated with the percentage complete of the current task we are running. When it hits 100%, the results are displayed to our end users. And that's all there is to it. As you can see, it's extremely easy to add multi-threading to your application and report the progress of that long running process to your end users using the new Zambusy Indicator Control, now available with InfraJustix 15.2 WPF controls.